Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. You know, look at our little doopies, our little friends and buddies and pals. Now, we got a couple of things to, 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 to look at here. Uh, namely, the, the fact that we have 11 of these bad boys now. So, we've got 8, 9, 10, 11 beds, I suppose. And we also... Nobody's sleeping here, though, unfortunately. And uh, we do have... I was looking at the schedule just before I started. We are okay on the schedule for the time being because we do have this other bathroom. Now, I would be curious to see them kind of all use them at the same time. But uh, we'll get there when we get there, you know? I'm going to just assign this suit. I see there's a snazzy suit. Bubbles! Bubbles can have the snazzy suit. Bubbles, go put that, that shit on. It's a little fun suit for ya. Okay, so, you know, last time around we did we did quite a bit of work, specifically around the natural gas and, and kind of ripping this open and exploring a little bit more and all those shenanigans. But, I would like to focus back, kind of bring the attention back on the water, bring the attention back on ensuring that the the base is functioning at a good, you know, breathability, which of course, as you can see, very clearly is not, and kind of deal with hydrogen and oxygen and all of that today. I'm also looking at the germs. So something we've kind of tried to do is keep a chlorine room in here. And while it hasn't not worked, it's an annoying process that I feel like I could alter just a smidge. And so what I'm going to do moving forward is um, just this. I'm just going to tell it to go and we're going to clean the water, germy or not, and I will take the germ water um, and I'm going to, the intent is to dump it in here and I'm going to throw a wheeze board because, well, this isn't getting, you know, too full. I think I just, I don't know. I, I was going to put a wheeze board in there, but actually, sorry, I thought I had a lot more polluted water than that. I'm just blabbering about nothing. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, never listen to me. Um, okay, so... Never mind then. Do we want that? Not exactly. So I will snip it. And I will let the plumbing do its work down. Whoops. The plumbing can go down. Also, let's deconstruct that. And so anyway, that's happening. We, we want to look at this as well because there was some polluted oxygen in here that's no longer here. So that is fantastic. We're going to just deconstruct all of that. And actually not deconstruct those two ladders because I would like them to build that one component there. And let's put all of that on a nine so it gets done. And so hydrogen is a focus and the water is a focus and cooling as well. Um, because if you notice, the base itself is starting to heat up in a few areas that I'm not too keen on. And the cooling here is not going well. Uh, now, looking at some comments from previous videos, thank you, Surgeon, good enough for your, your comments again. There is a slight indication here, if we look at the Aqua Tuners, how long they've been running for. So there is an uptime. So, for instance, this one is always going to be at 100% because of what we're doing with it, which is cooling this water and throwing it in the base. Um, it will always be at 100%. Or at least that is the intent, unless we run out of water here. And then this one here is at 96... 96-95%. <laughs> and what was being suggested was that we could theoretically take the petroleum that's in here and swap it for polluted water instead of... Uh, instead of the petroleum because the polluted water is going to do a better heat exchange 
that is a very fair point. The polluted water could be could be put in here instead, and the idea with that would be that it would allow for better heat exchange, better heat transfer, because right now this is not um it, it's good for sub zero, but we're not at sub zero. And as you can see, we're not really you know, we're taking so much heat out of here and here that it's actually almost, it's going to start wasting. It was, we're not going to be balancing it out as effectively. We're going to be pulling too much heat out at this point. Trying to figure out the best way forward, personally, trying to figure out if I should just throw in another one and maybe put polluted water in it as the, as the liquid. But then it gets complicated because I've already put in petroleum. But it is a power usage thing. <laughs> so that's where I'm at. That's, that's my current situation. Trying to think of that and also trying to balance the water at the same time. Because we want to keep the dupes alive and, and well. Uh, I also wanted to deconstruct this. Put one here for a second. Let's get them to build that real quick. Hello. Somebody build that quickly. Quickly now. Good. Not really exactly how I want this done. Deconstruct that. I would like to put the door back one where it was. Uh, in an ideal world, we'll let them do their thing. And and the hydrogen was another thing. Oh my goodness. It's all a... It's all a, a little situation to deal with, eh? Because we want to hook that up, have it hooked up and power kind of themselves. Um, we would like to pump the hydrogen in here to kill off the heat. It's a big, big old, big old rundown. There's also a lot of liquid in here that would be nice to, to deal with as well. Oh, and I don't remember last time if I saw this or not, but there is a polluted water vent right here. That is interesting. That could actually i don't think i knew that that could be really helpful for down here because all i would need to do is create kind of a little vat for it i uh, it'd be an issue with polluted oxygen unfortunately but uh then i could actually just pump it into that and then get free stuff hey i might do that that might be good. Sorry, I made, um, I'm making somebody, <laughs> making them dig this out so that the gas can travel better. Because right now, this is kind of pumping for very little reason. And I want to set up a, a little kind of sensor so that it knows that it should be, should or shouldn't be going. So that would just be a, an atmo pressure sensor right here. And it is going to be made out of, uh, we're going to just do steel just to be safe. And then I would do automation wire also out of steel just so that we don't do anything stupid. Actually, I would just hook them up. Fuck it. And I'll put that on a nine so that somebody does it right away. Okay, back to my other shenanigans up top. So there is this whole water situation that I'd really like to take advantage of. Pump in there. There's also this whole crude oil situation too that I'd love to pump into our line and I want to stop relying on petroleum as much and start using more natural gas because we are pumping up with natural gas we're filling things up really really nicely really well and I'm super happy about it but uh, we're using up all the petroleum if you saw down here just before the episode started this was actually about down to this level um, but then I had somebody rip this open, so it all kind of cascaded down. So, you know, we did manage to sneak some out, but this is not a renewable source. The only really way to get a renewable source, I suppose, would be to pull from the polluted, uh, the polluted water vent, which actually is really, really tempting to set up right now. But I might just have them dig this out so that we can get this to fall down. So... Let's put these on an 8 so they do that and they behave themselves. And let us see... Oh my gosh. I go down, I'm down up. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Let's just see here. Water. Any germs in this water? So far, no. So far, no. There's germs in the air, though, which is really odd to me because there's no... 
There's not really polluted oxygen. It's super strange. Anyway. Okay. This one. Bubbles. Buddy. So, bubbles... So, yes, sorry, there we go, this is what I wanted, radiation eaters, so bubbles can eat some radiation, and what was suggested to me was that a metal tile made out of, oh, not a metal tile, sorry, okay, very odd, I can't actually make uh, metal tiles out of uranium, which is fine, um, but it, it seemingly cannot be done, I can do other things with uranium like I could build a, a, a door I suppose but I guess the question is would it off put uranium so alternatively what we could do is just give her a wheeze wart and I didn't necessarily want to do it but if I have to I can okay we're gonna use gold because it makes it pretty so I'm gonna put this right here I would like to, I'm a little disappointed because the uranium itself didn't really, whoops, didn't do what I wanted it to do. Um, and uh, it's, just, it's just unfortunate. I'm going to put one here. We're going to just get them to do this sort of this sort of activity and we'll make them move the uranium over. So there's that. And then the water, once that's done, I'm going to pump it over there. And I'm seeing there is actually quite a bit of, Quite a bit of polluted water. Quite a bit of polluted water once it's once it's all said and done. A lot of snow melting too. This whole thing, very sad. Very sad about it. But it is what it is. You know, the world the world has ended over there. Also, the fact that there is 17 kilograms per tile of breathable gas here, polluted oxygen, that also terrifies me. <laughs> I'm not happy about that. That is very upsetting, actually. Alrighty, so... I, I actually ended up having them do a few things down here. We're building out a little bit of a, a plan here so that we can actually collect this polluted water. And then we're, we're going to truck it into this system so we can keep getting crude oil. I'm not going to... I don't think I'll set up the whole thing right now. I think just kind of the this sort of setup and then open it up so that it can start producing. I'm not too worried. Maybe I'll put in a manual airlock, actually, just so that the polluted oxygen kind of stays. I think maybe that would be wise for me to do. So yeah, I mean, this is this is the setup. This is <laughs> this is the setup for now. We'll have them rip it open so that the uh, the water can begin to start collecting itself, and hopefully it never overflows but you know you know how business is you know how business is there is actually an oil reservoir over here too which i'm just seeing for the first time so that's really nice to know but there we go all right seeing no germs so far is good i do want this to be pumped in there though because of how small a, a system that is now let's talk about the cooling all right I'm a little annoyed that the, the cooling is flipped like this, this way. Um, really not how I like to have it. And also, I need to set up the cooling pipes a little bit better. So, we've got to put ourselves in a position where we can cool other parts of the base. Specifically, up here is kind of a problem area. This is a problem area, and this is becoming a problem area. So, you know, we want to keep the base at relatively cool temperature. This is too cool. So we're going to kind of make some changes over here as well. So I'm thinking, you know, how how do we how do we switch this so that it starts going the other way? I flow maybe this one. I, I probably need to run a pipe like up here a little bit. Maybe maybe I just really cooled this part of the base off. But it was I think the problem was that I wanted it to go into the base before it cooled stuff up here. I'm wondering as well, I'm thinking we retire this whole situation of using this as a cooling loop. Just because it's too it's too complicated, it's too burdensome as well. Uh, so let's just remove this line. We're gonna remove it pretty pretty it's a pretty significant move on our part. Um, I'm gonna remove a lot of old piping just to make my life a little easier uh don't remove the bridge oh good okay so it's just removing the liquid pipe good 
We're gonna deconstruct this. I know, I know there's a lot of, of stuff here that maybe doesn't need to be removed, but uh, it's been so messy for so long that I think just clearing it out would be really helpful for us. Because look at this, I don't even, so much of this is confusing to me. This one actually, no, this one makes sense. That that drops in there. But like, so much of this cooling line is kind of broken, to be honest. So if I was to just clear it out, then I could make a better case for this whole situation over here. And this is the line for, uh, okay, yeah, that's the, oh, I see, I understand. Okay, let's just delete this whole thing here. Clean water, clean water, dirty water. Good, 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 good. All right, we're gonna do something a little bit ballsy here. Little bit ballsy. We're going to be taking gas from over here, built out of just a, you know, a simple, simple little friend there. We're just gonna use iron for the sake of this. And insulated pipe through here. And we're going to set it up with a automation an automation here for an atmo sensor right there and what this is going to do is i want it to only pump out hydrogen this is the plan the plan is for it to take hydrogen in and dump into there so i need it to can i do an a and b connection and gate open screen single with both a and b are receiving green so I'm going to put this right, let me cancel that, cancel the wires, and cancel this for a second. And I don't know if this is really necessary, especially the way that I'm doing it, but we'll, we'll, we're playing around with it. So automation wire, boom. And what needs to happen is I need it to, gas pressure is one, and... It also is the the site, uh, the, the, the type as well. So we're going to do both. We're going to see how it works, if it causes problems or not. And the idea with this whole setup is basically if it detects hydrogen and it reaches a certain range, it, it goes in. Uh, we're also going to be throwing in one of these bad boys here. Uh, preferably, we'll use iron. And then we're going to throw one on this end as well. But it is going to be made out of steel just simply because it's going to be pretty hot over here some of the time. So same level. Do, 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 do. All the way across. And we'll just actually put it right here. We'll put it back a couple of steps. And if we decide we want to push it forward, that's okay. And then we need to put in some of these. I don't want to use granite. We're going to use igneous rock. Or, yeah, we're going to use ig igneous rock for this just so that it can be you know, secured safely. And I also want to build the bottom out of it as well. Just, again, just we're trying to be safe here. We're trying to make sure we're not causing any shenanigans or issues. Um, but most importantly, I want this end done before we get, you know, fully digging through here. It is a little bit of a, you know, complicated setup again. This is to pump the hydrogen out, right? Pump the hydrogen out into over here. And this is a high pressure gas vent. And then the gas would then be pushed into here and then that thrown into there. So, you know, I don't, the other thing is I don't really want all these other gases in here. There's some weird gases in here that I would like to see kind of pushed out. And there is already a vent here kind of to deal with a good portion of that or a, uh, a mechanized lock to deal with most of that except for the chlorine so the chlorine's a little bit of an issue but uh, we'll see if this sort of setup kind of solves the problem so i'm gonna let them build this out over the next little bit uh see if they can kind of do some good work here generally speaking they do all right but let's see what they can do and I'm going to take a look at a few of the other items that we're dealing with, namely this and the, the cooling system as well. The interesting thing is, for the first time ever, we've actually kind of come to a, an impasse here with, with hydrogen. We're full on hydrogen, which is wild. Um, lovely, though. 
is really exciting for me because that means that we could perhaps set all of this up soon to actually take in some power and and be a little happy camper uh the other thing is perhaps setting up a battery in here would be important as well during this process to make sure we're not completely you know shooting ourselves in the foot here um 2000 as well you know or 2000 sorry well yeah 2000 so this can take 2000 i think the 800 counts towards the 2000 so 800 or two yeah eight the 800 there's a thousand there's another th uh, hundred so we're at about yeah we're at about the limit i think if we were to cut this system and and attach all of that together i think we'd only be able to power what's here including the doors as well hopefully they wouldn't use both doors at the same time so they are still building this out um which is totally fine they're doing their job let's see breathable gas i don't want it to be breathable i want it to be hydrogen hydrogen gas so there we go are those does need power seemingly not seemingly not that will need power though so we will need to get conductive wire and hook it up like this there we go and it's unreachable which is really unfortunate because i thought for sure it would be fine but it seemingly is not let's just see here if we we attach that there and then i need them to put all of that away because it is um it is producing polluted oxygen which is not what i want in here and i thought it would be fine <laughs> to <laughs> remove the little things that I had, I cleaned out the the items that were clearing out polluted oxygen, and I regret my decision because now there's more polluted oxygen. So I thought I was doing good, but I did not. I did a bad thing. I did a really bad thing. Holy shit! Where did the where did the water come from? How did you even get in there? What is you What are you doing? Who is this? Me, you motherfucker! What are you What are you doing? Somebody, oh my god, somebody dig that out for that man. Oh my god, I just, this was not what I was expecting. This was not at all what I was expecting to have happen. Me, do that as well. You fool. Oh god, don't let the... Okay, as long as you got one person digging and one person doing that, we're fine. Oh my god, we might as well dig out the floor too. What What have you done? What have you done? You fools. Oh my goodness. They're crazy. They're crazy in here. I didn't even see the polluted water. Wherever the polluted water was over here, I didn't see it. Ugh. Oh, they caused me such problems. This process has taken me a lot longer than I was expecting because of all of the water it's one slowing them down but b i was trying to get them to like be able to mop it up not going well not going well so i might need to like dump it somewhere <laughs> but it's really rather not um and then i had to reinstall all the deodorizers because i had removed them all thinking everything was fine <laughs> when in fact it was not fine it was not fine things bad they went bad um, what happened in here? There you go. Have fun. So, let's just see here. The water is running out, so that is concerning. But thankfully, I can now turn this bad boy on. And pump all of that beautiful liquid down into there. And hopefully this solves the problem there. Also, I did have them build all of this piping out. So we're going to try and see if I can take this and it'll go up. Cool different parts of the base, which is good. And then come down and I'm hoping I can loop it in here. So this is the plan. And then it would be able to loop into there. So we're going to pause. We're going to snip. And then we're going to do this. There we go. And so it should lie should should fill right up theoretically and i'm just seeing i know I, i've got some idleness there but i'm just trying to see if this where also this is you know we need to see about the cooling 
promises of, of what this looks like. Okay. So, it was big enough to do. Good. Alright. So, I just need to put the liquid pipe in there. We're going to cancel that there. And it is going to go back in. And you might be wondering why it's down here. No idea. I don't know why I did it that way. <laughs> but there we go. That will solve that problem. And then I'll be able to kind of clean up these pipes as well. So, there's my my thought there. Are we good? I think we're good. We're good. All right, amazing. So we're going to have them deconstruct all the all the easy dupes, all the dupes who are not really doing much. Can deconstruct all of those those pipes and we'll figure out an alternative way to cool some of these these spots here. And it is pretty bad. Oh, nope. We don't want to deconstruct a liquid bridge. Yes, I'd like to deconstruct that. Hopefully that one doesn't get deconstructed. And then there's also all the ventilation to deal with too at a later point in time. We're not quite there yet. It seems like we're doing fine for actually stocking the generators at the moment, so that's good. I would like to dig that out actually. I don't like that that's still there. Things are coming along. Things are coming along. It's mostly that we're trying to deal with some of the efficiency issues before I start dealing with... Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think it's time maybe for a second one of these. Are they, They're three high, though. They're three high, and I can't fit it there without causing problems. Uh, it would be time for another one of these if I could get it in there. Um... Do I just throw them up here? That might be the only way to do it, actually. That's fine, right? Okay. Because now we've got an influx of, of gas, and that's not good. It's too much. It is too much. Let's hook that up. And let's do this. There we go. Let's zoom this along here. And see if... Oh, and then it's also going to need to be automated. So, we're going to have to automation wire the book out of that. That'll do. I don't know what... What did I use for that? Steel? Absolutely not. Oh god, I just cancelled everything. Shit. What are you made out of? Iron. What did you try and make it out of? Gold? Just do, just do iron. <laughs> what did I make the heavy wad out of? Better just be iron. This game is fooling with me. You make uranium? Okay. It's interesting. Um, okay, let me fix this. One thing I will say. At least they're committed. They, they did that pretty quickly. They did that pretty quickly. I'll give them that. I'm pretty proud of them for that. They're usually useless. <laughs> they're usually pretty bad at that sort of thing. But they did it. They did it with speed. Now, let's, let's see here. So... We're going to eat up a little bit of extra hydrogen that way. It's it's a pretty good method of um, kind of securing the, the operations here. This I'm going to put back down to 75 so it doesn't take in any more coal. And then hopefully those... Uh, hopefully, hopefully that kind of reduces our petroleum usage as well. Just coming down here, looking at this. Okay, good. Have we analyzed this? It's been analyzed... Amazing. When when do the shenanigans start? Polluted water. Hey. 30 degrees? That's not terrible at all. Oh my god. It's actually going to cool down this area. Holy shit. Okay. I'm genuinely surprised by that. That was highly unexpected. I wasn't expecting... I didn't think to look at the temperature. It could have been literally like... 2000 and I had no idea okay but that might cause it to boil and then when it boils oh it just makes steam okay sure that's fine so I will let that be this is melting and I don't really know why oh never mind I know exactly why I see why 
because it's not protected very well by a warmer biome. Although it's not that bad. Whatever. Okay, um, fair. Fair, 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 fair. This would be nice to put in, actually, if I put in one of these uh, pumps now before I use up all of my iron, uh, all of my steel elsewhere. Put in just an insulated liquid pipe and we'll put it out of steel for a bit. That should do. That was all of my steel. What did I put that out of? Tungsten. Oh, tungsten. Made it out of tungsten. Uh, just to keep it alive, basically. And then we will do... I'm not gonna... It's not actually gonna be running, so that's fine. Uh, I would want to hook it up to that, but we'll see kind of where we, where we get to later. And then power, kind of same gist here. I'm gonna be using... Steel for it. Oh, God, don't use too much. It's a very intensive process. There's a fair amount of heat locked in here. It's actually quite wild. Uh, 100 and almost 200 degrees in here. Less, less. So this is kind of messed up. I feel like I should really use this for another aqua tuner. Or a steam turbine, actually. So if I put... Just hear me out. If I build another little room here, okay? Right, right here. And I put metal tiles here and water in here and the steam evaporated and went in there. I could put a steam turbine here and produce electricity. But then it would get hot and I would need to cool it down so I'd have to use an aqua tuner to cool it down. Although the aqua tuner wouldn't actually need to be used fully because it could be one aqua tuner could be used to cool two and it would be totally totally fine. Because look at this one. This one's cool as hell. What is your uptime? See, now we're back down to 80. So, like, the uptime isn't all that bad now that I've changed it, eh? So that's because I changed it over to this version. Oh, and that's why. Because we're not using all of the, the juice that we could be using. Well, listen. I can change that. Get in there. Fill that up. <laughs> Let's fill that bad boy up. Let's let's make sure we're using enough. Uh, let's make sure we're filling it up and using all the juice that we can. Why not? You gotta keep that shit running. So, yeah, we could actually take advantage of this and put in a put one of those in. Now, what I'm gonna do really quickly, steam turbine. So it could be made out of steel, and actually, it'd be a very fair idea to do so. I'm just going to do this, and I'm not going to dig anything out. I'm going to leave it alone. This is hooked up, right, to the main power line? Yeah, there's the main power... Sp it's called a power spine, basically. And I could hook it up right there, and that would be great, actually. Wow, okay. Okay, 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 okay. And the metal. And you could do something with high thermal conductivity. So gold could be used, provided it... Or steel, actually. We could use steel. One, two, three, four, five. And then you'd need to fill it up with water. Quickly. So it doesn't evaporate too fast. Yeah, okay. So we've got a little bit of idleness, too, in the actual base itself. Because, um, basically, and I'm going to make an assumption here, there's something wrong here with the repairing suit. No, we're fine. They're all using suits, so how are there five of them? Oh, they're not idle again. Who Who's idle? Joshua's idle, you're idle, and you're idle. Yeah, this becomes a little bit of an issue, right? Because they're basically like, we can't do anything. There's nothing for us to do, but there is, you know, there's not, there's not nothing. Certainly not nothing. There's 11 of them, and there's one, two, three four, five, six, seven. That's why. So there are 11 of them, and there are only seven Atmo suits that they can use. If I build... Okay. Let's 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 test a little theory here. If I... Nope. Cancel request. If I build another line, like here, let's just say. 
let's get them to put that in. It's made out of lead, sure. And if I hook up a vent to it, and I hook up electricity to it, can they use it if it's not like in the full line like that? I would assume they it had to kind of go along here, but I could be totally wrong. Deliver a suit, please. Because I think we got an extra one. And actually, just please build another suit as well, just so that we've got an extra one. Okay, I mean, a couple of things. One, I screwed up because it's supposed to sort from there, not from there. So there's, there's issue one. And two, they do need to be in a full line. So good to know. I can certainly move that over, actually, which is what we'll do. Um, and we'll just kind of copy it and place it here. And we can do a little switcheroo there. And that's totally fine. That's totally doable. Totally doable. And then we'll be able to put in this other um, Atmos suit dock. And we could actually put in three. I mean, there's not there's not a whole lot going on over here. It's mostly here that ends up being the issue. Because there's so much power-related activity that happens. And then there's so much of this that happens. I should really actually extend this line. But once I've set up these new electrolyzers to actually start pumping and producing oxygen, then I think we're going to be in a much more comfortable space to kind of adjust some of this stuff. So adjusting there and then kind of rolling them over. Oh, God. Did it fill up the whole line? I thought it wasn't supposed to screw it up, though. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay, we need to be very careful with how this is done because the petroleum is going to drop on the ground. We're going to have him do... Let's just have him do two. It should start flowing in a second. So it's so full. We need to empty... I'm going to say a little more. Let's see here. There we go. No. Still no? Just barely. I'm sorry, Turner. I know I keep bringing you back over here, eh? We need to take out, I think, one to two more, and then we're going to be totally fine. See, I thought it didn't matter, but clearly I was mistaken. <laughs> and that's okay. That's totally fine. This is a really easy fix overall. Let's do just three. There we go. Now I think it should be running okay. Yeah. All right. That's good. Unfortunate that we had to do it that way, but it is what it is. So, how is the cooling doing? Not very well. It's doing... Actually, it's doing well up there. There's... It seems to be struggling a bit down here. There's a little bit of radiant pipes going on. I think it's probably because there was too much heat up there, so it's absorbing it here. Um, we'll see in a little bit how it goes. So, kind of... I think we're going to wrap it up because... You know, there are some activities that everybody's up to, and, you know, some stuff is still slow going. I might have to do a little bit of work in between. But what's going to happen is, next time, you know, we want to set up this hydrogen line to kind of produce and go. And we're going to be able to pump the hydrogen over here, use hydrogen as power. We're good. We're going to have to pump the new oxygen into the base, which will be lovely. And then we're also going to need to cool this room down as well. So my thought is that we'll likely have to set up another aqua tuner setup. So something like this, but I might have to do it over here instead to make sure it's, you know, good. <laughs> and I might actually do it up here somewhere. Um, Maybe like right above it or off to the side. Um, that's my current thought. I'm going to give it a little bit more thought in between episodes so that we can, you know, be careful with it and make sure we're not being dumb. Uh, we need to set this up as well. And then there's also just the attention on this that I, I'm kind of considering. So the thought would be maybe we set up some metal here and then build a, a power generation system over here by taking heat from in here because water will evaporate at 100 degrees 
and uh, this little this little bad boy produces quite a bit of heat here, and it would it would work on kind of naturally eliminating heat without any effort. That would be my thought. Let me know what you think about this. If this is a good idea or not, it 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 tames it in a way, but it's not really. I'm not actually cooling it, like, you know what I mean. So that's an idea. That's something I'm really, really interested in doing. So I might do that next time. So if you folks did enjoy this episode, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to leave any comments with tips, hints, or suggestions down below. I always love to hear from you. And your suggestions are always super helpful. Give me some tips here and uh, give me some tips here. These are the main two items that we're, that we're looking at doing. So there you go. And as always, thank you for stopping by. Happy you did, and I'll see you next time.